Hi, I'm Joe Hilscher, and I'm here with John Peach, our manager of system engineering at Arista Networks. We're here to talk about EOS precision data analysis. Now John, tell us about uh, precision data analysis and why customers are interested in that. So there's, there's been pretty rapid growth in network designs and scaling and capacity for over the last couple of years. And what tends to happen is with the increases in speed, performance, and the volumes of data, the mechanisms for instrumenting that data just haven't kept pace. So customers are looking increasingly for ways to get detailed analytics out of their devices, out of their infrastructure, uh, at a reasonable cost point. So they're trying to find out what's happening inside the network infrastructure and with applications across the infrastructure and the volume of traffic is just so large now right. at 40 gigabits and future 100 gigabits it's just overwhelming their ability to even look at it. Right. It sounds like you'd have to pick out individual uh, little pieces of information to look at and, and do it with, uh, well, I guess that's the word, precision, right? Absolutely. And the, so there's a whole set of KPIs that are generally missing from the ability to manage a modern network. We're actually still stuck with a set of tools that really came out of 10 meg and slower environments where we're looking at a granularity of one to five seconds for updates and similar. And we're getting a really limited amount of information out of the environment. So what Arista has been committed to doing is supporting new methods of extracting detailed data right from the heart of the switching platforms, right from the center of the network, and doing it at a granularity that approaches the nanoseconds, which is appropriate for speeds of data where you're passing 30, 40, 100 million packets in that one second period. That's a huge amount of traffic to, to look at with any kind of a tool, certainly if you were using some sort of a data microscope or an application to, to look at, at that amount of information. You could never do it in, in, uh, in real time without being able to hone in on what was actually the critical piece. Sure. Uh, is that something that the Arista switches can play a part in or do you need extra equipment to do it? So traditionally customers invest a lot of effort and expenditure in large scale overlay networks purely for monitoring. Uh, and one of the jobs of those overlay networks, as you say, is to filter out the data and add things like precision timestamps so that an upstream application has a fair chance of being able to extract the interesting data for the customer. What we're doing is delivering a lot of that functionality directly on board the switches to minimize the cost, but also to get the precision right at the source of the traffic. So have that visibility right into the switch, be able to uh, thin out the traffic, filter it down at the first point where it's delivered so we're not wasting any bandwidth and to be able to add those timing aspects again directly at source so you get the best level of accuracy. So John, what, what, given what you're saying and, and uh, the, the fact that the, the, the network capacity and, and the size of cloud data centers keeps growing and growing uh, continuously, uh, how do customers sustain visibility into the traffic on those networks right. um, on an ongoing basis? I think that's a great question because uh, the model that we've kind of been used to is that um, commonly customers are spending one and a half to two X on purely on monitoring their environment that's over and above the cost of the network itself. And clearly as you move to thousands, tens of thousands and then hundreds of thousands of nodes, you're getting to a position where the cost to monitor is completely disproportionate. So actually getting that functionality built directly into the networking devices is purely logical. It takes the cost element down absolutely substantially and increases the scaling by the volume of ports in your environment. You naturally get that capacity. With that, once you start offering both coarse and fine-grained metrics directly from the device, you start to offer um, data that is actually useful in proactive capacity planning rather than point-in-time statistics, and you get to the point where you can offer a, a forensic paper trail, then you suddenly have all the tools to continue managing your network in a more sustainable fashion. Well, uh, thank you, John, for talking to us about EOS Precision Data Analysis. Thanks, Joe. It's been a pleasure.